Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this year I'm gonna be hipster Ariel or is it Ariel? Little Mermaid for Halloween and I really like this look because it was super inexpensive I spent probably less than $15 on the wig. I can't remember. I got it from Amazon I will link everything in the description box, but I literally own everything from this look So I didn't go out and spend a lot of money So if you want some custom ideas for Halloween or a costume party and you don't want to you know spend a lot of money This is a good alternative. So if you want to see how I completed this look just keep watching okay guys first things first I'm gonna secure my hair back with a little clip and then I'm gonna start my makeup by applying the YSL instant matte pore refiner this is my primer and it's so good Once I'm done applying the primer, I'm gonna move on to foundation and I am using the YSL All Hours Foundation and I'm applying it with the Sephora 55 brush. Next, I'm gonna apply my concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium Honey and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it underneath my eyes. Whoa, that's a lot underneath my nose and on my jawline. If you happen to get crazy with concealer, don't worry about it. We will blend it. I'm using my beauty blender to take care of this. To set the concealer, I'm gonna be baking in the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to apply it again. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tartelette Palette and I'm gonna apply the Caregiver Color all over my eyelid. And for the crest of my eye, I'm going to be using the best friend color and I'm just going to apply it on the crest without touching my eyelid. I'm going to contour my face with the Fenty Beauty Island Thing. It is a bronzer and I'm applying it with the Sephora Brush 201 and I'm using the blush side of the brush. Next, I'm gonna fill my eyebrows with the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in the color chocolate and I'm using the Anastasia brush. Eyebrows are definitely a process for me, so I am using the Benefit Give Me Brow Gel. I really love this to finish up my eyebrows. I'm gonna brush my eyebrows once again with the Anastasia brush. And then I like to set my eyebrows with some powder. So I'm gonna go back to the Tarte Tartelette Palette. And I'm actually gonna use the Multitasker eyeshadow color to just fill those bald spots. Next, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and move into the application of my falsies. I actually got the ones that the, light, the liner functions as a magnet, so they're magnetic. This is the first time that I'm trying them, so <laughs> bear with me as this will be a process. The eyeliner that comes with the falsies is very liquidy, so I advise you to be very careful when applying it. And you need three coats. Once 
Moving back to my face, I like to blend all the powders together. So I'm using the Studio Mac Fix in the color NC42. And I like to do this first to obviously remove the translucent powder, but it also helps blend with my contour powder. So I really like the finish. Last but not least, I'm gonna be applying a little bit of blush. I'm using the Anastasia Blush Trio in the Pool Party colors. I like to use the three colors. Once I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna pull my hair back in a little bun and secure it with a hair tie. And then I'm gonna put on the mesh that comes with the wig and then I'm gonna be putting on the wig. I totally forgot this step, but I'm using a white eyeliner to put it on my lower eye line. Back to wig business, I'm gonna be brushing my wig before I put it on. And I'm being really careful as it is synthetic hair. The wig is really easy to put on. It has two hooks that I'm gonna secure at the bottom and the mesh really helps. So I extremely recommend you use the mesh. And then once you have it all placed, just secure it with the little tights at the bottom. This was actually a really bad idea <laughs> because the hair got all crazy and I had already brushed it, so don't do it. Now, play around with it, move it until you like the shape of it. Now I'm gonna apply my accessories. I have some pearls, pins that I'm gonna use and I have a little star that I'm also gonna be using. To complete this look, I'm gonna put on my glasses. These are my actual glasses because I'm a little blind and then I'm gonna apply red lipstick. I am using a very old Estee Lauder red color. I will link it down below. Ta-da! For the outfit, I'm wearing my old Converse shoes and then this is the flounder bag that I got on Amazon. I'm wearing my ripped mom jeans, a flannel shirt, and the Save the Mermaids t-shirt. Well guys, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you decide to recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your looks. Happy Halloween everyone and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!